Hello Godex user group. Normally my videos are a lot more polished and you can see my face, but I'm just trying to do this really quickly so that you guys can see this information. You guys can expect a full polished video on this later. But earlier this week, John Eldred posted on DIY photography, basically an assumption after reading the details about the Godox A1 and the manual. This is the Godox A1, which is a smartphone flash that also has functionality with the entire Godox X series. Basically, he kind of gathered from the manual that the Godox A1 in combination with a cell phone app would allow you to control all the functionality of your lights and effectively turn your X1 trigger into a dummy trigger only sending the fire signal and so I just he asked me to confirm that and I just kind of wanted to show you guys where this was at so I'm opening up the Godox app I've already connected it to the A1 via Bluetooth so let's turn this guy on real quick see I really got to watch my phrasing I just said turn this guy on real quick I got to watch that stuff I've already entered the password so we're in there okay Turn my camera on, X1's on, 8200's on. I might have to bring this 8200 away based on space. But one of the functions in here, and I'm going to try to do this upside down, is click flash and boom, all your flash options open up. So we have this 8200 set to group B. And I've got my... X1 trigger with the only active group as group B and you can see right now it's at a sixteenth and two-thirds so as soon as I change the power on here the Godox 8200 receives this power setting so even though my X1 is triggering the light the B group at uh, 16th power and two-thirds when I hit the shutter it's not resetting that signal. So you can see the 8200 is still firing at a quarter power, which is what the phone has it set at. So basically, John was right. This does allow you to take over the power settings of your light, effectively turn the X1 or the R2 trigger, whatever you're using to trigger, it's just now a dummy unit and this signal is overriding whatever this says. Now I have not updated this X1 controller yet. I'm wondering if when I update the X1 controller, if it's going to update on the screen, because right now it's just showing the last power I set it at. But maybe once I update it, it's going to show that power setting. But I wanted to see how it behaved without updating first. And I was surprised to see that it works just fine. So again, let's go back in here. We're just going to change this. I'll be honest, I'm not really a fan of using this, but we're going to go down to 1128th. As you can see, updated 1128th, and we're going to start firing. It's firing at 1128th, no problem, even though we're still at 116th power on here. So, of course, this is designed to actually work with the phone. It's going to be able to bring all that flash functionality of the X series to a phone use, but it's still going to be limited because your phone itself has an electronic shutter as well as a constant aperture. So we'll see how all that works. And if we're looking at the home screen of the app, you can see that we'll have functions for the phone camera, the flash itself, which is what we we're already playing with, as well as the LEDs. So it's cool because this app also has other functions for the flash. One thing that I really like is that you're able to swipe for full stops if you want to transition a little bit quicker so as you can see it's going down up and down by full stops and then the plus and minus control those third stops all right so if you see these groups basically if you have them set up at a given ratio you can modify them all by a full stop or a third stop. So this is really cool to be able to modify all five while still having those ratios in between them. You'll be able to go through and modify them all at the exact same time. So if the sun pops out in one of your photos and you need to increase one stop on your camera settings, then you can move all your lighting by that same amount 
of flash power. So whatever you adjust your camera by, you can just come in and swipe and boom, all five of your lights are changing as opposed to independently modifying each group of power, which can be a pain if you're trying to move quickly. Also at the top here, there's features to turn on and off the modeling lamps, the sound, initiate multi-mode, which is stroboscopic. And then there's also gonna be the LED features, which I'll be testing along with that SLB 60 watt flash that we just got. So tons of cool features. Again, this is a really quick nitty gritty video on this, but I wanna show you guys what it was capable of and especially confirm that the app can now get the X-Series trigger to basically act as a dummy trigger and still have full control from the app without any type of issues. So that's really cool. I'll have videos on my YouTube channel really soon about the A1. I'm looking to upload tomorrow. I'm really just trying to figure all this out. Also, this is all still early release. It's not production release. So information is limited as I'm one of the first people to have this. So I'm kind of trying to figure everything out myself. There might still be some modifications on this app to come in the future, but just wanted you guys to see it now and what it's capable of and what you can be ready for to use it in the future. So go subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more on this. Bye guys.